Warning. The content in today's video will include very serious dark and mature material. Viewer discretion is advised. The intention of today's reaction is not to offend but to provide entertainment and overanalyzing. Proceed only if you are comfortable with potentially sensitive topics. What is good C squad? I hope you are having a wonderful day. So while I was reading your guys' comments, a few of you asked me to check out a channel called Jack Stauber. More specifically, two videos that were called Opal and Shop, a pop opera. And you guys also told me that he does clay animation, which if you didn't know is also my favorite type of animation. So I'll be checking out both of those videos and anything else that I find interesting. And if you end up enjoying this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. With Without further ado, let us begin. Uh, four, sir, are you, are you all right? <laughs> Already, I am loving this animation choice from Jack Stauburn. Well, first off, it's in a four-three aspect ratio, resembling like old box televisions back in the day. It also has like a staticky TV effect as well to match with it. Ooh, I'm already getting excited. No, I think. Thanks. I, I think I'll just come back for it. Okay. First things first is milk. Is this guy voiced by Jack himself? I don't know. Just his vocal audio mixing with the video audio is really giving me that. It's giving me an unnerving feeling. I wouldn't say it's scaring me. I'm just getting that slight chill. Milk go bill. Pecan. Huh? Oh! Pecan! What the hell is that? I think that's supposed to be an old lady. Good God. You want pecan cookies? Pecan! I'll grab you some pecan cookies. These aren't pecan. I said pecan. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but whatever this old lady is wearing that's keeping her alive or whatever, it's like in the background and you can like really notice it. Yeah, sorry. I've never even had this kind before. You should try it. They're, they're pretty good. I'll try them some other time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I thought I was ugly. Okay, I shouldn't say that. Old people aren't ugly. First thing I just noticed earlier when he was at the sample stand, the guy asked if he wanted some and our main character, who I'm just going to call Pinky or Jack, he said maybe later. And now this old lady just said the exact same thing about trying the pecan cookies. I'm going to assume later on that's going to be part of the message or something. Right, milk's done. Next up. Wait, this milk is expired. Hmm. Expire. Whoa. He looks very serious now. What kind of milk were you? What kind of life did you live through? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. The animation just completely changed. So the lyrics just said, what kind of milk were you? And the milk just turned into a coffin. Is this song going to be about death? Did you know love? Will you rest in peace? Did you have a Okay, so it said, will you rest in peace? So obviously this song is about death or maybe about living life until death. Sorry, I'm still in awe about the animation change. It was so subtle, I barely even noticed. What kind of milk were you? Would you like to with so right there just proved my point. This song is about living through life until death. By the way, I am loving the song. Very beloved. Your days are gone, grocery list goes on. Ah, Dairy Beloved. That's a good one. I like that. That's a good play on words. I like that. Also, it said, did your life drip rich with calcium? I'm assuming calcium is supposed to be happiness or maybe fulfillment. I might be grasping at straws here. When it showed the milk getting old, the milk bag was half full or some would say half empty. Maybe referring to the saying of if you see a glass half full or half empty. That was a good song. Oh, here's a newer one. <laughs> Oh, I just realized they did milk for the life slash death song because milk has a relatively short lifespan or some would call shelf life. Artisanal multigrain 12 nut vitamin bread. Mm -hmm. Pardon my reach. Is he a potato? So the last person was an old lady, which I assume was a human. This guy is not a human. I was gonna say he's an egg, but he looks more like a potato. Oh my god, that's why the woman was old. Because she was nearing the end of her life. Oh my god, and she said that she was gonna try out the cookies, but never did because she died before she could. Oh my god, Jack, you are a genius. <gasps> was your dog artisanally bred? No, I said he eats it. Are you deaf? So clearly this potato man is supposed to resemble rich, I'm assuming. Greed or richness. But he could also be resembling pride. Kind of like blind ego pride. Artisanal. Artisanal. I could live in an artisanal house. What the hell? First off, the song already has a great vibe to it. But why did the house resemble the face of that potato dude? Or is it excess when I talk less and I let the things talk for me? Oh, 
Oh my god. God, the lyrics in this song are amazing. When I talk less and let my things talk for me, right there is telling you exactly what the song is about. Also, a side note, I don't know if I like this kind of animation where the head is clay, but the body is just a normal human's body. It's very uncanny valley. Okay, look, that was a good song. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Milk song, but still a very good song. Oh, by the way, and if I miss any meanings or anything in these songs, please don't be afraid to comment down below what I miss. This glass shattered instantly, but it would take someone like you or me days, maybe weeks, to put it back together to how it was. And still, it will never be the same. Okay. Okay, so he said the glass broke instantly, and it would take them weeks to fix it. And even then, it still wouldn't look the same, which is true. It would still have a lot of cracks on it, Right away, I'm not really seeing the message here. Same yeah. with my finger. Open in a second. But it takes days to heal. The bigger the mess you make. Okay, first off, this song already has way more pep in its step than the other songs. So is this gonna be about not being afraid of getting hurt? Or making mistakes? It's irreversible. Another irreversible and unstoppable it's already making me lean into what i said before where it's going to talk about making mistakes and not worrying about it once you make a mistake you can't really you know reverse time you can't fix it i'm having a very hard time actually listening to what this guy is saying this song's melody is catchy as shit from what i have gathered so far the song is basically just saying don't worry about making mistakes don't let the mistakes you make in the past hold you hold you back mentally i don't know all i know is i am enjoying this song oh man. excuse me can you please move your card out of the oh, way yeah if i can't get to the frozen food aisle in the next three seconds i'm gonna you have your Dinner's planned out through this Wednesday. I'm already seeing the message to this one. This one is definitely just being overprepared. Why don't you plan ahead of time for accidents? I've been meaning to actually, but I haven't got a minute free to do it. There goes asparagus. Also, our main guy Pink here said he was looking for oatmeal, and that guy's head looks like a bowl full of oatmeal. In case you guys couldn't tell, I am enjoying this video a lot. I could have oatmeal for breakfast, then oatmeal for lunch, oatmeal for dinner as well, at the sound of the bell. Maybe the actual message here is the everyday routine of life? Is this talking about the everyday cycle of life? Circumstance, the unexpected, how could I have known? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. The word oatmeal in this song is representing normal or normality, but it did just talk about unexpected things happening. Maybe the song is just talking about don't try to plan ahead too far. Next is coffee. Ain't this place a godsend? Look at all this coffee and they have all of it too. Oh my godsend, I tell you, godsend. So taking a guess off of what I'm seeing, I'm assuming this message is gonna be about slowing down and enjoying life as it is. Coffee is kinda like God, I gotta write that down. Can't you see that on a t-shirt or a... Hello? I'm assuming there's a message here. I'm assuming it's when people don't stop and relax. They eventually crash. I've never seen that before. Anyways, it's really nice to meet you. What'd you say your name was? What are you, deaf? Okay, so every person has called him deaf now. Is there like an underlining meaning of why they're calling him deaf? Because I have no idea what it is. Do I need it? Am I under control? Can I beat it? Wake up. Is this talking about addiction? Wow, I was way off. French vanilla, I think I should sit this one out. Maybe a cup of self-control would be the right. Okay, so self-control, needing things. It has to be talking about addiction, right? Maybe not even addiction to drugs. Maybe just addictions to being lazy. Maybe it's talking about not caring enough. Fiery wine. Maybe so, but it feels better to check than to reflect. It feels better to check than reflect. Most people who have an addiction to things don't like to admit it. I'm not really 100% sure what this song meant. If you know, let me know in the comments because I'm a little confused. Uh. And now, a dark walk through the five aisles of grief. I'm sorry, what is going on? It just said the five aisles of grief. You could have been kidding me if I act better. Just said anger, bargaining, and depression. Okay, look, I am very lost. Like, I get what those words mean, but why is it being talked about in this song? Dairy free maple coconut water cheese. I could have picked something better than that. I could, I trust I would pick something better. Oh, 
cool this song is about choice like when you don't know what's really going on you make a choice and then you see the outcome of that choice and seeing that you could have chose something I guess different or better I'm assuming this song is going to talk about just accepting what you've chosen rather than regretting strawberry please this is amazing that was very good I won't lie it got a little confusing at the end the last two songs weren't all that great the milk song is definitely my favorite overall a really good video and a very good message Um, why are these puppets so fucking freaky? Also, it's very quiet. There she is. That's my girl. Hi, Opo! I feel very uncomfortable right now. I know this is gonna sound weird. Even though there's music playing in the background, it just still has that deafening silence to it. <laughs> What is happening? What is going on? Why did Opal just stand on the table and start dancing? I have no idea what's going on. It seemed like she was gonna eat the hamburger, but then she just started dancing. Also, something I want to point out in this exact frame right here. Why are there four random lights just right here in this frame? I'm only bringing it up because it looks so out of place because that fourth one is right over the guy's head. From what I've seen so far of Jack Stauburn's work, it doesn't seem like it would be an accident. I feel like there's a reason to this. There's four characters on screen and there's four lights. She looked through a window and there was a house, but for some reason then her father started sweating? Is Opal sweating? Is it that the house makes her nervous? <laughs> What is going on? Okay, so clearly Opal is looking through her window. Why is she so infatuated by the top of the house? More specifically, why is she so infatuated about this top window? I am so lost. Opal is sneaking out of her house to go see this house in the middle of the night for some reason? What? Wait, what just happened? Why was there just some random light that just shined at Opal? Was that insinuating that her parents turned on the lights at their house and she doesn't want to get caught going outside this late? Also, I didn't even bring up the fact that Opal just clearly breaking and entering in this house. She just walked through the front door. Claire? Is that you? Claire? Wait, what? Oh, wait, he's blind. So maybe he thinks it's someone named Claire? People on television, Claire, you're far more interested in me than anything you got going on. Okay, so Opal is on the verge of getting caught and she's just walking forward? Something isn't right. I think this might be Opal's house. Because now somebody knows that you're there, why would you stay? Unless it was your house. Also, I will say Opal seems very nervous. Almost like she's scared. <laughs> Tell me. Why does it sound so easy to breathe on TV? Okay, we're just in a song? Also, it looks like he's in like PS2 graphics. I can't see why it sounds so easy to breathe. Ooh, I like that. I can't see why it sounds so easy to breathe. And the girls are singing. La, 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 they la, dance la. too, I assume. Yeah, we animation in this is fucking bizarre. I will say if Jack Stauburn is making this all on his own, massive round of applause. Every song so far is catchy. He knows how to animate in multiple different styles. That's impressive. Won't you tell me why does it sound so easy to breathe? So the song is talking about how he's blind and he can't actually see what he's watching. You can tell that he smokes a lot. Also during the song there, you could kind of hear him breathing really hard at the end. Like he couldn't keep singing longer because he was running out of breath, which is actually kind of real to me because I quit smoking March, 2023. And I started smoking in like 2016 when I was 16. And let me tell you, that was the best decision of my life. Get out! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so this is an Opal's house. Because I'm assuming blind people have a very good sense of hearing and smelling because their sight is gone. He couldn't recognize the smell of Opal. So then why is Opal just exploring this house? Call me crazy, but I have a feeling that Opal's dead. I know this is crazy, but what if this girl, Opal, is going through the afterlife? But then what would the message have been for the last person that she just saw? Maybe not seeing life clearly? Hey! You're just gonna walk by without saying hello? I, I actually look really good in that. Glad I don't have your ankles though. What? Who is this random person? What if Opal never actually left her house? Also, why is this person just in a bathroom? Hold on a second. You could spare me a little time, you know? Uh, you act like I'm a complete stranger. He just said as if he's a complete stranger to Opal, but this person isn't blind. He can clearly see Opal. Well, not really. He can see like the body of Opal, but not the actual face. See, this right here is why I believe that she didn't actually leave her house. They turned me down, now I live my nightmare. Gotta be seen by someone out there. God! Damn, this song is good. The beginning of the song was completely upbeat. I like that. Also, he said he's got to be seen by someone out there. Is that someone Opal or is he just saying in general like people? He is covered by mirrors. He might be a perfectionist. Fixing myself so that all can say but Yeah, this song is just talking about looking good for everybody. Making yourself look good as possible. I mean, the lyrics saying, God is in my skin, is insanely egotistical. The message of that song was pretty obvious. This guy just wants to look as good as possible. But my only question is, how does that affect Opal? Because if she is dead and she's just moving to the afterlife, I don't get how this would affect her. Opal seems pretty young. Uh, what is that? Kill it with fire! I don't care if it's human. This guy Jack knows how to make some really creepy ass dolls. Goodness exists. If I wake Clara and I sit still, you should be more considerate, honestly, but I forgive you. Wait, 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 wait. This lady looks like she can see very clearly. She's not blind and she doesn't have mirrors in front of her. And she just blatantly said the name Claire. Is Claire the name of our main character? But then who's Opal? I forgive every single one of you. Every night. <laughs> It's a virtuous cycle. You know what I just thought of? Those three family members from the beginning, they all match the people that Opal just seen. There was the dad, there's this person which looks like the mom, and then the blind dude that she met earlier looked a lot like that third person. I think my theory is right. I don't think Opal ever left her house. I think what we saw at the beginning was what she wishes her family was, but this is what her family actually is at the house. And maybe Opal is just a fake name that she gives herself for some reason. You're just as powerless as I am, Claire. <laughs> Was she gonna hit her? She said she was just as powerless as her. Also, she said that they don't repent how she wants them to. Repent means feel sorry for, right? That's so weird to say. Okay, so Opal's in the attic now. Why was there a random bed just in the attic? It would make sense that it's Opal's bed. Like I've been saying, something tells me she never actually left the house. She just imagined that she did. Opal's Burgers? Wait, so Opal's a name of a burger joint then? That's the family that was singing in the beginning. And there's the four lights. No fucking way. Was that beginning not real? <coughs> oh my god, oh my god. I had it backwards the entire time. That beginning house that we saw never existed. It was just a fucking billboard. The house that Opal has been in is actually her house. Oh my god, my head is going to explode. My god, that was an amazing plot twist. I gotta give Jack a round of applause for that. So the three people that we saw in the house were her actual family members. So Claire, which is her actual name, has a really shitty family life, basically abusive, both mentally and physically, and she copes with it by creating 
this imaginary land in her head where she has an actual family that cares about her based off of a fucking billboard sign? 10 out of 10. That was amazing. I'm gonna rewatch that on my own time because I need to see the things that I missed. Okay, so I was gonna end it there, but I saw a few comments mentioning cooking with Abigail. It's really short, so we're gonna end it off with this one. Why is there just a random person outside her window? <laughs> what? So it seems like this one is completely just a song and I'm gonna assume this song is telling a story. So we have this girl called Abigail and it's called Cooking with Abigail, which I'm assuming is her cooking show. But then you just have this random old person looking at her through the window. You're a the fig said something horrible about you? I think I need to let this finish and then recap it after it's done because I have no idea what's going on. I can't stay here. Your dream to cook is founded on misguided hope. Oh, I see now. Your dream to cook is founded on misguided hopes. Oh, I see. So Abigail is like a socially attractive woman who was given the opportunity to have her own cooking show. But from what I'm seeing right here, it's probably because this old guy who I'm assuming is the CEO of the show wants to do dirty things with Abigail, AKA misguided hopes. Also the fig said, I can't survey any longer. So obviously this isn't actually a talking fig. I'm assuming it's a person that's part of the show that knows what's going on but can't keep watching it. It's not easy. It's not easy to tell you how I feel. I don't know why, but it seemed like the fig was confessing their love to her. I don't know, that part was a little random. <laughs> Now it's starting to be a lot more obvious. The person that's looking through the window, I'm assuming is the CEO and the money sliding under the door. Maybe it's hinting at the fact that maybe she did some things with the CEO or the producer to make more money. Also for a second there, it seemed like Abigail stopped smiling for a moment. <laughs> that one was a lot shorter still very serious and honestly it happens a lot in our real world where beautiful socially attractive people are given opportunities just because by the way they look and sometimes they get taken advantage of that was pretty good if i had to rank the three that i just watched i'd have to put cooking with abigail number three simply because it's really short however i will say the song is really good and then i would put a shop opera at number two and then opal number one because the ending twist with opal was was pretty good. In terms of songs, I Can't Breathe was probably my number one. Milk is my number two. Cooking with Abigail is definitely number three. Like every song was really good, surprisingly. Maybe the cheese one wasn't very good. The message was there, but as a song, I just didn't like it. Anyway, all three of them though, 10 out of 10. And thank you guys for suggesting these videos. If you want me to do any more of my over talking, over analyzing reactions to something that you like, comment down below what you want me to overanalyze next. And yeah, have a good rest of your day.